official weigh-ins yesterday for our event. Dublin, Ireland's Connor McGregor set to fight next against the Bama Beast, Marcus Brimage. And uh, heated, to say the least, very emotional. There's been a lot of talk back and forth before the fight. And there was a ton of intensity yesterday at the weigh-ins, Kenny. Yeah, Connor, a very cocky fighter, but you know what? He backs it up, but this time it's in the UFC, and a lot of hype surrounding Connor. And that man, Marcus Brimage, went against another guy with a lot of hype, Jim Hedges, and he was able to derail that train. So Marcus Brimage, very motivated to stop Connor McGregor, who's coming in with a lot of a lot of hype. Yeah, I do. I paraphrase. Marcus Brimage said Connor seems like a uh, arrogant person. That's paraphrasing. Who needs a reality check? And Connor McGregor, tons of hype. I mean, by far the biggest prospect to come out of Ireland. And he is 12 and two with 11 wins by knockout. The notorious Connor McGregor. Lots of folks excited to see Connor McGregor make his UFC debut here in just a matter of moments. Live tonight, get ready for an action-packed fight night. UFC on Fuel TV 9, by Musasi Latifi, tonight. Tuesdays, it's the hardest-hitting sports magazine show around. Taking you behind the scenes. What are we doing? Why are we doing? Nobody does it any better than we do, baby. Beyond the headlines. Life's a journey. You gotta enjoy the journey, man. And deeper into the world of the UFC than ever before. Some cool things that I would love to see happen is uh, to make the cover of a video game. UFC Ultimate Insider, presented by Twix. Tuesdays, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, only on Fuel TV. So we are excited to see Conor McGregor step into the octagon here inside Ericsson Globe, Stockholm, Sweden. He is truly the most highly touted Irish prospect to ever fight in the UFC. But Conor McGregor will have to dig deep to prove himself tonight against Marcus Grimmage. The brightest prospect to emerge from Ireland in years. Conor McGregor has shown himself to be a top candidate for world title honors in the coming year. And as his UFC debut approaches tonight, anticipation for the fighting pride of Dublin is at a fever pitch. Marcus Brimage's raw talent was on display on season 14 of The Ultimate Fighter, but he's really stepped his game up in the time following the show, going 3 for 3 with wins over Steven Bass, Maximo Blanco, and Jimmy Hedges. Tonight, he'll try to remain unbeaten in the octagon against Conor McGregor. Coming up next, Conor, Notorious McGregor, swears off against Marcus, the Bama Beast Brimage. Right here on Fuel TV. Many ways to define confidence. We'll just say he's a confident young man. He is 24 years old. Great winning streak as he makes his UFC debut. Nine first round finishes. Uh, the man holds belts in two different weight classes. In the Cage Warriors promotion, the largest promotion in the UK and Ireland, he has had a ton of success. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been talking about Conor McGregor for a long time. He is a true knockout artist, so he can knock you out with anything, whether it's his feet, his knees, his hands. His head movement is unbelievable, his feints. A lot of things that I talk about with my students and a lot of the people that I work with, fighters, I always say, feints and head movement, Conor McGregor has all that. And then on top of that, he's got knockout power. He has the ability to find your chin. And he's an excellent grappler. He's been working very hard in his wrestling as well. And we're gonna find out if he's the real deal. Again, UFC is a completely different level and Conor says he's ready for it. He wants the belt that featherweight, and he wants the belt that lightweight as well. First things first, Marcus Primage. Second fighter from Dublin, Tommy Egan. Fought in the UFC, actually in Dublin. Back when we had our show in Ireland. And Connor, though, has a ton of hype. There's a whole nation watching this young yeah. man. Tom Egan actually got Connor McGregor. Actually, they both got each other into MMA. They both said, hey, why don't you train boxing? And the other one said, hey, why don't you train jiu-jitsu? And they came up together and Conor 
McGregor has just been on fire over an island and in the UK. Just a dynamic striker. You want a fun guy to watch, he's your guy. National amateur boxing champion, professional mixed martial artist, the notorious Conor McGregor. But when it is all said and done, Kenny, Marcus Grimmage, since his time as a member of Team Bisping on season 14 of The Ultimate Fighter, has only won. He is 3-0 in the UFC, 6-1 as a professional, has a couple of wins by knockout. And he's a man that, at least he feels, doesn't get talked about a lot, especially when he is unbeaten inside the octagon. And that's a dangerous guy, you know, he fights with a chip on his shoulder, yes. uh, and, and he wants to go out there and derail this hype train, you know, he feels that, you know, he's getting set up against all these guys who come with all this hype, and he's very motivated, and I think there's two things that make Marcus Brimage a tough fighter to deal with, and it, it is the fact that he goes in there with an excellent mind, his mind is very very strong, he doesn't get intimidated, and his athleticism also makes him a very dangerous fighter. He's extremely strong, very fast, and he's looking to do the exact same thing he did against Maximo Blanco and the exact same thing he did against Hedy. Both of those guys came up with a lot of hype, and all did all Brimage does is win, as you mentioned. Member of American Top Team, so well trained, well prepared to remain unbeaten inside the octagon here in Stockholm, Sweden. The Bama Beast, Marcus Brimage. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Dublin, Ireland's Conor McGregor, 24 years old, four years younger than Marcus Brimage. 5'4", Marcus Brimage, so five inches taller as McGregor reached nearly identical. Once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC and the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 12 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, 65.8 kilos. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. Six wins, one loss. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, 65.8 kilos. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Marcus the Bamba Beast Rimmons! When the action begins, our referee in charge, Robert Sundell. Robert Sundell, our referee. A lot of talk, a lot of emotion yesterday at the weigh-ins, and now these two men get to fight. Marcus Brimage, Conor McGregor, and here we go. Quickly taking the center of the octagon. And right into battle, Brimage in the white. This is exactly what Brimage needs to do. He needs to dump down the fight. He can't let Conor get off. Get his rhythm going and get his momentum going. Connor loves angles. He loves to fix it up. He'll step off and Brimage just has to stay in his face. Black trunks for Dublin, Ireland's McGregor. Very technical and precise striker. Nice shot by Brimage though. So far it's Brimage landing the bigger shots, but out of Connor's 12 wins, 11 are knockouts. Oh, cut there, Kenny. 11 are knockouts and he almost did it again. He clipped him on the way in. He can find your chin from anywhere. Again, nice slip and a little counter. You can see how comfortable on the feet McGregor is. It's unbelievable. Look at the angles. He circles. He can fight going forwards. He can fight going backwards. Look at that uppercut. Mark is the top looking to finish it here. This is why everyone's been talking about Conor McGregor. It's all over. Conor McGregor, another first round win. Wow. of UFC debut. That is exactly why he's so dangerous, Mike. And he took some big shots, so guess what? He's got a huge chin as well. This kid's the real deal. Look 
look at the uppercuts. It all started with the uppercuts. That's what really dazed Marcus Brimage. And from there, it was all Conor McGregor. There's that killer instinct and accuracy. Again, the uppercut early was the one that did damage and uppercuts here lead to the end of the night of Marcus Brimage. Outstanding UFC debut for Conor McGregor. And an awesome reaction as he enjoys his first career win in the octagon. Proud Irishman Conor McGregor with the official decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Robert Sundell is called to stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor. Tenth first round finish for Conor McGregor. Here's Kenny. Connor, congratulations. You look great out there. Was the game plan to stand up with Marcus? Uh, I didn't really have a game plan. It's whatever it went. <laughs> you know, it can't be emotional. Uh, you can't let emotions get in the way here. I think Marcus got a little bit emotional with the, fact, uh, the Irish support getting on his back and all. It means nothing, you know. I just come in and let the fight happen naturally. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Whatever the fight takes place, that's where it takes place. You don't plan on it. You know, you said not to get emotional, but you know, you got in Marcus's face at the way, and was that part of the plan as well to really get in his face and, and, and then make him pay here in this fight? No, I, I don't know. I just go with emotions. This is the first time I've ever had a crap like experience something like this, you know. But it's nearly like the WWE to me, you know. It's all just a little game. I'm just playing a little game. I don't really think anything. When I get in here, it's just the same thing. Just keep calm. And... You got an angle on Marcus. You slipped an angle and you hit him with a huge uppercut. Did you know he was hurt immediately? Yeah, I, I, he wobbled a couple of times early and never. He was tough. I knew. See, again, I thought he got. I thought he was emotionally attached to the contest, and I thought he would have overthrown his shots, and he did. Uh, that happens. You know, Marcus will be back. He's three and up. Connor, another brilliant performance. Thirteen wins, twelve knockouts. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Dana. 60 G's, baby! <laughs> I think someone is calling out for a knockout of the night. Conor McGregor, an awesome job. And again, as, as Kenny and I saw early with the uppercut, that was his go-to punch tonight. He mixed things up so nicely, but the precision with that first uppercut pushed Brimage back. And at the end, the combination that finished the fight included a couple more uppercuts to the chin. Uh, Marcus Brimage and you know humble in victory but yet you just saw a glimpse of the talent especially the striking of Conor McGregor and it, it makes you want more it's unbelievable you know there was a lot of pressure on his shoulders he's got the Irish flag on his shoulders right now and that whole country has been behind him and I know there was a lot of pressure on him heading into this fight but uh, I don't think he felt any of it. He used it as a motivation, he used it to drive him in his performance and what a performance it was against Marcus Brimage. Take a look at the finish one more time, Kenny, because I mean, it was so picturesque in the way he just came over the top, in, out, and finished the fight. Just a beautiful uppercut. He landed it three times in a row, and from there, he just put Marcus away. And again, I can't stress enough how tough Marcus Brimage is, and Marcus was doing everything right. He got right in his face, you know, really wanted to, to put, bring the fight to Conor McGregor, but the problem is Conor McGregor could fight going backwards, going forwards, whatever it was, and uh, just a brilliant performance for McGregor. And you had talked about the, the feints, Kenny, and his, uh, his ability to, to, to counter the pressure, and Brimage yeah. did. He tried to take the fight to him. It didn't bother McGregor at all. And it's unbelievable. He fought like he was the better in this fight, so I'm really looking forward to it to his next, fight, next few fights and see what he can do here. And uh, again, I think a superstar will be born here in Ireland. Nice to see him get a victory here tonight. And now the future, we will see what it will be for